So, Red Dawn has finally happened. All your preparedness and all of your training has not been for naught. You have finally been able to execute some missions against some very bad people who have invaded our country and want to take it over, right? And you and your boys, you go on this brilliant raid, destroy a fuel depot. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. It, it all burns and blows sky high. You know, uh, Timmy took one through the arm a little bit, but he put a tourniquet on it and we continued the mission and we completed it and it was, it was just great. It was everything you ever hoped it could be. And so you get back to base, you know, after the raid and you look at Tim's arm with the tourniquet on it and you think, now what? Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about long-term wound care, and specifically this homemade bag that I just kind of made up. So in general, in the tactical world, I'd say we do pretty good about emergency medical stuff, right? It's always a real big deal to have an IFAC and multiple tourniquets on your kid all the time, right? That's, that's a thing. And if you post videos online, uh, someone will always knock you, like, where's your tourniquet? Where's your extra tourniquet? You know, you need like four for each limb. And, and I think that's, there's, a, there's a good ethos behind there if we want to carry emergency medical gear uh, so that you know, we don't die and we can complete the mission, right? However, what are you gonna do after? What are you gonna do after the mission's done? Again, this is in the context of American uh, Minuteman gear, right? Like embracing part of your martial American heritage means being prepared to deal with things after. Because if Red Dawn really does happen, you're probably not gonna have all the access to hospital facilities that you would want. In which case, how are you going to care for your long-term injuries and healing after the fighting? Now listen, what we're not gonna talk about here is like surgery, okay? I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a doctor. Um, make friends with the surgeon because we're just not gonna be able to really cover that adequately on this channel. Uh, however, one of the things we can cover is just having some supplies on hand to be able to facilitate healing over the long term. And that's what this bag really is. This is a wound care bag. Now I base this off of the wound care bucket uh, from Refuge Medical, which I will try to link in the description. And you're more than welcome to go over there and just buy most of the stuff that he has in this five gallon bucket. To be honest, I tried to fit this in a five gallon bucket and it wouldn't fit. Uh, so they do some kind of hoodoo magic to get it all to fit, which is really cool. Um, however, I did put this in a backpack also for a purpose because now it becomes transportable, right? If I had to throw this in a vehicle, not that you couldn't throw a five gallon bucket in a vehicle, but you get what I'm saying. Or more importantly, right? If you had to hump it, if you had to carry this somewhere, you could do that. And I could bring this to a location, leave it there, and then someone could use it, of course, to care for wounds long term. I'm gonna put a description, uh, or I'm gonna put it in the description what's actually in this bag, because we'll just kind of go through it here, but I won't have all the numbers and counts because honestly, I don't remember them all. So I'll put that in the description and we're gonna go through this bag right now to just kind of show you what's in here. But again, it's, I'm gonna keep it real simple for you. It's a bunch of gauze and some gloves and some band-aids and some rubbing alcohol and hydro, hydrogen peroxide. And that, that's the majority of what's in here. So you can think about how, what would I want in a bag in order to uh, care for wounds and healing long-term? Let's say you got shot. Let's say that you were able to, you know, get the surgery to fix whatever was broken, okay? Uh, now what? Now how are you gonna take care of that long-term? And I think all of us should have at least one of these kinds of setups of a bunch of stuff that we can have that's going to be able to care for that wound long-term. If you're in a crew with, you know, four, six, eight guys and everyone has just one of these, man, you're gonna be pretty set uh, in the sense that you'll be able to care for a lot of injuries over the long haul. So let's go through the bag and I hope it's helpful. Okay, so let's start kind of on the top outside of this pack and we'll go down through the layers. So on this top pouch right here, uh, we have a arm sling, right? Um, Cause that's important. And then I have the list. I have the list of all of the stuff that's in this pack. So I put this list together because I thought, hey, uh, you know, if I check this in six months or whatever, I'm gonna forget what's actually in here. Uh, so I wanna be clear about what, 
what's actually in here and what I would ever need to replace or whatever. So that's what goes up top there. In this next pouch down here, we have band-aids, uh, just about 200 band-aids because you know you need those. A bunch of medical tape and uh, some antibiotic, uh, like uh, it's the off-brand uh, Neosporin, okay, so antibiotic cream for putting on band-aids and stuff like that, and just inside gauze. The idea there being to prevent infection, obviously, so you want to have some kind of antibiotic cream. Going the next level deeper here, we have gauze. Uh, that's mostly what is all going to be in this pack, as you'll see. Uh, so this top one here, I got a couple ace bandages in here, a bunch of rolled gauze, so I have four inch and two inch rolled gauze, okay. Here, these are a bunch of three by threes, is what's in here. Uh, I think about 80 of them, give or take. And then here, these are a bunch of three by, two by twos, excuse me. These are about 52 by two inch pads of gauze. And then even further down here, we have some four by fours of gauze, and I think some five by nines of gauze, okay? Again, total list of everything that's in here, I'll put in the description below, but just to kind of give you an idea of how this all works. Going down to the main level here, so in here, again, we have tons of gauze. We got a bunch of five by nines right there. This is a bunch of four by fours right there. This is a hundred set of uh, gloves. This is just, you know, exam gloves, right? Rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide. And then this one, these are some pretty large, these are some eight by 10 gauze pads here. So pretty simple, kind of boring, all in. But again, this is gonna give you an ability to care for a wound on the long term while someone heals up. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this gives you some ideas for long-term medical care and in this case, you know, long-term wound care and what you're gonna do after and how you're gonna fix and heal and work through problems after you work through the initial problem. Do brave deeds and endure.